Knight. What is up, you guys? As always, welcome back to, well, UBL Week 2 versus Lucky Wolf and her War Turtles. Why, <laughs> frankly, I'm very scared. This is a good team and it pressures me just right. And um, we'll see what happens. I am, like, genuinely worried. Um, that's a thing I can do well, but her team is just really good. And, uh, yeah, for my team builder, I pretty much anticipated a team like this. Um, I was worried about a few others, but this looks to be the ideal team versus me. So, I think my easiest lead is either start off with Sneasel or go with Helios. As, uh, like, basically, I have two ways going about this, and, um, I am easily pressured by a few of these mounts. <sighs> like Galvanical is the big one. Um, yeah, I'll lead off with Sneasel. I have the combination of Fake Out and um, Ice Shot, so I could kind of stall Sun Turns if I want to. I can knock off um, the Sun Rock if I need to. Um, like th these sights are or sights or Sukhnir, <laughs> as they call it in Swedish, are. Are the result of um, very worried and um, you know excited. This is a good team, and I never battled Lucky Wolf before, so I think it speaks volume for my opponent. As quite frankly, I think this is just kind of big. Uh, right, let's hit this off. Um, I'm feeling Galvanical has like the best lead. Um, I'm worried about that. Uh, if she had a stick away like plan versus me that that's gonna be problematic and if not then it's that's good and it's all right Torkoal is kind of frustrating versus me also so let's see lead with Galavantula. so that's right that means we have issues hey, look my is legit shiny <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, a bit on the chuggy side. Uh, hopefully that doesn't pan out throughout the game. So we're gonna go for freakouts. Um, kind of worried about this connection. Um, it might actually be on my end uh, since I am hosting. And if so, that's not good. I find it very hard to believe that she's thinking this long. I think this is all me. Um, please, I don't want a disconnection. <laughs> I mean, if this keeps going, then uh, we're probably going to reset because uh, this is not stable. Right, we're drawing the initial off, that's good. Did not want to deal with that. We go for an easy fake out. Which, all things considered, will do nothing for me <laughs> besides damage. Um, right, is that leftovers? Hmm. That's interesting. Um. I'm gonna send in Eva because if she goes for Lava Flume, we should be able to soak that quite right. Why is it so slow though? I'm just gonna type to her, I can't feel. Um, 
because there is no way it is is that slow. Um, Let's see what is the play here. Fire Blast. Oh, what a miss. That's aggressive as hell, though. Um, so let's see, what should be her switch into this? I guess she loses nothing by um, switching into something like Reuniclus. I'll use Nuzzle here, I think that's the overall better play. We draw Storkel, great, goes into Reuniclus. Good. So we kind of get this play right, even though it's not ideal, but Pearlization is always nice. Um, could go into Christus, knowing that... Uh, there is no way she go for a focus blast directly. I think. Oh, it seems the connection picks up now. I'm sorry, by the way, I'll focus on that, but just it seemed weird it went so slow. Right, Shadow Ball, gonna eat that up. Never have I felt such immense power. Now, knockoff is no guarantee KO, but I have the possibility of disrupt something with the knockoff. And that is always nice. Unless she's Colberberry, now that I think about it, it should still sting since I'm adamant. But I'm getting the feeling um, this could be a salt vest in combination with. Uh, um, or oh, what do you call it? With the combination of um, blah, <laughs> um, regenerator. Jesus! All right, switches out. I think Torkel comes back, and knocking him off is gonna be a blessing. That'd be all right. No leftovers for you, and no sun for you. And back to slow. Um, this is good for us, actually. So we can switch into our Rotom. We should be able to soak Fire Blast, Farish. And basically just force her out. Hmm. Still, though, knockoff. I, like, I'm adamant that. That has to be extremely defensive. It's either that or. Or, like. Or Torkoal just super fat. I mean, that's the options, right? I mean, I don't see Torkoal enough to make a professional opinion about how fat is the Torkoal. But it's fat. It's definitely fat. Uh, <laughs> right? Sending in Helios. Really hope we have another power here. We can't take a Fire Blast. Withdrawals. That's super aggressive, actually. To Togekiss. This is not the worst matchup ever. But the connection kind of is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, figure for the second wave of Thunder Waves, actually. Good. Dazzling Gleam should be the only offensive move to get with Nasty Plot, which would be nice to avoid. And I'm kind of scared of something like Venusaur coming in. Dazzling Gleams, right? I think that's a professional play, and it actually did a whole lot, but we cripple it, which is nice. How it, how does it feel to go on the receiving end of that, <laughs> Mr. Togekiss? Um, Alright, so Volt switch out. Basically, I try to cripple everything in my path, if I can. By the way, I'm super happy not to see one particular Pokemon, which I was scared of, and that was Dewblade for this matchup. Mainly because I think Dewblade pressure me 
Um, why? Oh, she stayed in. That's kind of nasty. Um, <laughs> did not anticipate that. Um, oh, come on. Um, do we have anything to switch into this? I got Ava, I know that. I just don't know how well I'll take a hit. So that's problematic, but... All things considered, I am a Soul Fist. Just speed your Soul Fist to be able to speed a Conk. If that's a matchup we're gonna face off against. Oh, by the way, I'm never hosting again. I feel the chugging here, even though I have a stellar connection, it's still chugging. I feel it's just on my end. Let's see, Jasly Leem. That's fair. It does so much. Actually, it does way too much. Uh. You know, we had a few turns of just rolling about, and now we are in a... Damn. We're in a dam. Come on, come on, don't disconnect on us. All right, so I think Draining Kiss is my best move here. I believe she is Specs. Torkoal could always, always come in. And then it's all right, it's kind of frustrating. And I don't want to re -nussle. I lost a lot of HP on that switching. <sighs> I'm just really thinking here. Do I have the means to break Conk Elder when it eventually comes in? And can I even stop the Venusaur? Like, these are the two things going about my head. And uh, I only disrupted the team. My team is actually more heavily punished than my opponent's. Oh, still outspeeding. So that's actually phenomenal. Let's see how much will the draining kids do. Ah, oh, not enough. That's for sure. I should be able to survive the other one, but... Oh, come on. This is so awful. This is so awful. This is a speedy specs monster of a Pokemon, and the Wi Fi just won't have us. The Wi Fi just won't have us. Well, if I make it through, I might do some edits to kind of move about this game and just post narrate because of these. Uh, I was gonna say slow down, but that's not fair. <sighs> so, chill. Clearly, keep Dasny Leams, right? So, I think I need to do mid display. Eventually, she could get fully paralyzed, but at this point, I am willing down the wrong Pokemons. I know the damage output speaks volumes. Volumes. <laughs> for, for what she really is, and uh, I should be able to abuse that and not overcomplicate things as I do right now. I just wishing for that fully paralyzation that eventually did happen, but maybe at the wrong time. All right, so we take the KO here. Basically, her only switch-ins, if I go about this and really leveling, are um, Reuniclus, if it is the Solfus variant, which could be likely, or Bring in something like Conkelder. I'm losing my voice as I'm saying that because I'm scared of Conkelder. Right now, my Ava is, um, or my Hatterini is not in a battle position. And we'll see how much that will mean in the long run. But I can't lose my Salassal. I need it for the eventual assault of the monster that is. That really, that is Venusaur. Venusaur is like the number one threat, and there is 
nothing I can do about it. Or I guess there are some things I can do about it, but quite frankly, it's very hard for me to stop at face value. Reuniclus comes in. So it's not Regenerator. Which is goodish. We've seen Focus Blast already. Uh, we haven't seen that yet, but that's a play. Um, Want to hard switch Ava? Shadow Ball might be a good neutral play, but. I'll think I do this. Basically, it's a sack play if I'm doing predicting this wrong. Like I said, I can't lose my um, Salasso, at least not yet. How do I deal with Conk anyway? Or Reuniclus, I mean. Uh, figure double bash. Metal Metal can come in, but I have no speed investment. And we also have, of course, um, Scyther, which could be great for the situation. Let's see. Did I get predicted? No, I didn't. Or, kinda, no. I mean, both yes and no. It's not like I want to take a hit from this. That was aggressive, I like that. I can respect that. <laughs> um. Question is, do I want as much damage as possible on this? I do not enjoy switching in and out versus this, that's for sure. A fully power fire blast does so much on me, and uh, the only like real play I have is actually bringing in my Rotom. I think her best play is probably fire blasting. Let's see. Yeah, there we go, and misses again, which only speaks more volumes for how awful. Awful this game is sometime. Let's hope I don't have the same luck. Right, so I Volt Switch here because I really want to damage on Torkoal. I'm gonna bring back Ava on the incoming possible Solar Beam. <sighs> I feel for my opponent, I really do. As I think the previous Fire Blast would probably ensure to put my. Um, Ava in KO range, and this Fire Blast would in theory kill me, and I'm super aware of that. Yeah, nice, some damage. Some real good damage, actually. Bringing back Ava, I mean, everything else could fall really nasty here. I think she should Solar Beam, but if she goes for Fire Blast, I think I'm in KO range. Always has been, right? Stealth Rocks, oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, the Psy Shock won't KO because it's so physically bulk and then over Shadow Ball, which very well could be in range of not KOing. She does decide to sack it though. I think, yeah. So, like here's the thing, if I end up winning this game, the debate is going to be about those hacks and those hacks alone, as, well, let's just face it, they are the root of my success right now and nothing else. So one turn of sunlight. I'm gonna do something very aggressive. Um, if it works out, that's awesome. If it doesn't, then it's all on me. Uh, because I'm pretty sure here comes a sludge bomb or growth. Earth power, yeah. We call that in the book predicted. <sighs> I mean, the sun is out. But um, that was um, 
that was like, you know what? All you said is this was a very fair exchange and um, I am now in the receiving end of Galventula winning. <laughs> so major respect to my opponent actually. Um, now I only have one play, dual wing beat. If I miss, then it's gonna get kinda tough. If I don't miss, um, then this is... I mean, it's still bad. It's still very, very, very bad. Why did I do that anyway? I could've sacked Ava there, right? <laughs> I'm an idiot. I had a sack play on my hand. I'm like, nah, 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 let's, let's do something weird. Thing is, I could Soul Stance versus this, but as long as Galventula is active, I can't stop it. So Galventula is now on the top of the list. Right? Decides to sack it. I mean, that's wonderful. That is just wonderful. Really wish I was a violet right now, I can tell you guys that much. Because here comes the Galventula. There is no other way any other Pokemon comes in right now. Anything else doesn't make sense. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Um, I assume this was potentially um, focus sashed like the way I see it I have a Skinor can switch in I have Helios that may be able to soak a hit but it will always be slower so I can't outpace this Pokemon at all and I absolutely can't recover versus anything so I think the sack play here is actually bringing in Helios and see if I can get some damage onto it. Because pretty much I need to just force it out over and over again. Let's see, Thunder, that's fair. That's very fair and very, very damaging. Oh, we, we kind of, that's life form was like, hmm, hmm. That's what I get for not having a ground type. Now we have compound eyes, however, but, um, the way I see it, I mean, I sack this. There is no way. Um, once <laughs> once Galventula is gone, I think I am in a winning position. But that is if she allows me to get in there with that in mind. Because I basically need Sneasel to be able to take a lot of punishment. And with Life Orb, I'm not sure Ava can even take a Bug Buzz nor Thunder. I could try. But I, I feel I lose the game by testing my might, as one would say. <sighs> right, bug buzz, that's fair. Because I feel I want to bait my opponent. Like I said, if I get rid of the Galventula, then I just win. And if I bring in Christos, the Christos, I lose that option to have that combination in my, in my portfolio. So I'm double arm bashing here as it is my strongest hit and uh, or arm bashing, I don't know what it's called. Uh, if Kong comes in, I I don't know what to do either. Fuck, it's just keep on sack playing until it works. <laughs> I think Kong is able to outmaneuver this. Come on. 
And if she stays in, then I think I am in a position I want to be with Scyther. Actually, in theory, I don't know how much I will do to Conqueror, but it should put me in a somewhat of favorable position no matter what. I think. I want to believe that. By the way, like, I built around this team with Mel Metal in mind going into this game, and the thing I was supposed to deal with, it did not fend off against it. Right, Thunder does... Um, a fair chunk. And I'll be honest, it would have been extremely fair if she got a paralyzation on me, as all things considered. Um, I have been super favored for this matchup. Like, both Roltron, which eventually became a sack play, and Ava, my Hatterini, I think both of them had a, quite a luxury going into this game, as they were never forced properly out. Here is the conk. <laughs> I've been waiting on you, buddy. You have no idea. This is the game where Conkelder just showcases exactly why it is an absolute threat, and I have no sack play for it. Yeah, I could go this way, but quite frankly, it's not worth it. Versus this, it is all about that dual wing beat. So yeah, I mean, we, we take this Drain Punch for co close combat, hopefully Drain Punch. Good. I think we could stomach at least one of those. And this Double Bash should be, um, well, nasty enough. Yeah. That's the damage. That's the damage. And it was... Yeah, it was what I thought it was gonna be. Not an assault this variant, but this physical thing. This proudness, this just thing that eats people alive. That was what it was. And I love it for it, I hate it. Let's see. Probably lose as much as it recovers. Whew. The thing is here, I have two things I want to do. But quite frankly, my easy play here is going to Eclipse. Because her play should be Facade. And nothing else. So... Yeah, I can always miss. I don't want to watch this. Hey, Dad. Uh, <laughs> like, if I win, I still win on the wrong merits, and I'm not going to discourage that. Like, I... I think my opponent played this game phenomenal, and the hacks was just... what it was. And it shaped the game thereafter, but she made such a good predictions overall that... Who am I to judge? See, Mark Punch does nothing. Dual Wing Beat connects. Great. Uh, so now it's Reuniclus and. Uh, oh. Like I said, this is it's just one of those games where I don't feel I deserve the game. Um, my opponent played this game not only smarter. Uh, but overall became, at least in my book, such an overwhelming threat and the only reason I win is because of two really big fire blast misses that could or couldn't be decisive, but more likely I feel they would have been because it changed the way I was forced to play this game. <sighs> By the way, I should probably have knocked off there, but uh, you know what? I'll take what it is. I want to see. I want to see what it could do. It could always be Trick Room, and I believe if it is, then uh, my combination comes down to uh, Fake Out and Eye Shard, I believe. Because that is, in theory, her last real response. No, here comes Psychic. And it does... Good damage. Right, follow up with a Shadow Ball, and I think that should be the wrap. <laughs> Look, to my opponent, um, Lucky... 
I thought it was an interesting game, but I also feel I, I know exactly how this game went down, and I I am not the one to really, really flourish or debate myself as you know the defined winner here because I had hacks on my side, and for being on the receiving end last week, I feel yeah, I feel awful. I actually do. So I really want to say GG, and I want to say I'm I'm sorry because I am. I really thought this team was beautiful built. Uh, surprised not to see Dublade, but the thing that pressured me pressured me because it worked. And let's face it, my Celestial play and she going in for Earth Power with her Venusaur, yeah, she was the smarter player overall. There was really nothing to it. And I always lost half my team to that Spex Toe Kiss because I couldn't get myself going properly. And yeah, I took bigger risks for maybe very, very, very un. or. I took riskier plays and what I needed, and my opponent was much, much more down to earth, did proper predictions, but in the end, it just came down to hacks. I got two fire blasts in my favor, and that Galvantula, while being a number one threat from day one or second, it hit the field. Um, she, as far as she was aware, um, my Sneasel were faster, I guess, but overall, my opponent, GG. I really hope you great luck for the rest of the season as um, this team is tough to deal with and uh, you know make sure to check out her channel as her content is actually really good I like it uh, a lot higher quality than my channel is and for obvious reason she knows what she is doing uh, I try <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much all for watching and of course have a great day everyone take care